everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 37 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 3, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, it's that time again when we do yet another Musumo campaign. We're gonna go to the Wu Forces, and I'll be playing as Gan Ning. Alright, so here we are, Pirate Attack on the High Seas. So this is the third of three non-playable in free mode missions that you can have. Well, at least on the PS2 version and the vanilla version of Dynasty Warriors 3. So anyways, the weapon. We actually have a second weapon, even though we never played as Ganning. The reason why is that Ganning and Zhou Yu share the same first and second weapons. They don't share the same third weapon, though, so you still have to get that on your own. Luckily, this will give us a little bit of an advantage, given that this is only the first level. The items, we will have to go with the Tiger Amulet, the Tortoise Amulet, the Weyamusu, if I can find it, and the Red Hair Saddle. The fifth item, I'm not going to use the Peacock Urn, given that this is only the first level. I will, however, use the Dragon Amulet, because Ganning definitely benefits from a very large Musu gauge. Bodyguards will keep normal with swords. The conditions. We have to defeat the commander to win, and if Ganning is defeated, or the captain is defeated, or we run out of time, we lose. And we have 30 minutes on this map. The unit info. For Su Chuan's forces, we have Ganning and the captain. Our morales are only at three, so be careful with that. Also, the captain has no troops. For the pirates, we have a commander, and four lieutenant commanders that we have to deal with. I think you can just go straight to the captain right away, or the commander, and you'd be done. But anyways, here's the intro. While bobbing along silently in the water, memories of violent wars fade away. Suddenly, on the horizon, a suspicious-looking ship appears. On board is a group of pirates who are bent on pillage and destruction. As if being drawn in, the pirate ship drifts closer and closer. Alright, let's get to it. The wind, the smell, I love it aboard a boat. Alright, so let's get to our first mission right away, and I'm going to deal with these other Lieutenant Commanders first. Unfortunately, there are Archers. Don't think I was just going to avoid them that easily. Even though this is only the first level, you will have to deal with Archers. Okay, the best thing about Ganning's Musu attack, which we've seen many times used against us, is that it's actually a dash attack rather than a combo. Come on! Come as many as dead! What? Are you... Are you... You vermin! Don't say my name so lightly! Alright, so one lieutenant commander is down. Uh, let me get back on my horse. Get knocked off of it. Unlucky for these guys, I'm starting this campaign with a second weapon that I got from Zhou Yu. So I feel good about that. Gives me a nice sizable advantage. Alright, I think there's an item crate right here, so let me go pick that up first. The captain should not be in any immediate danger, I hope. And if he is, then I'll abandon everything and go back to protect him. This is not really a, 
a large map. It seems confusing because you have all these ramps to deal with. But it should not be an issue. The thing I do not like about Gandang's Musu attack is that it's, it is hard to control. Like, you have to hope that you can actually get a sizable hit on your target. I defeated an officer. But at least whatever you hit is probably going to be close to dying. If not die altogether. Oh, we picked up an item. Nicely done. I'll leave my horse over here for now. Because I'm not that slow. Like, Gandang has decent speed. And with a large Musu gauge, can be even faster if you keep using it. I'm going the wrong way. I meant to go, like, all the way up here. Here, allow me to observe the advantages of his Musu gauge. Like, you can cover, like, a little bit of ground this way. I think the uh, Musu wine is somewhere around here as well. But I think I have to go down a little bit. And it's somewhere in the west direction. You missed. You have shamed all pirates. Including that Johnny Depp one. There we go. Nicely done. Picked up a weapon over here, too. Fantastic. I don't think the pirate, uh, not the pirate. I don't think the sea captain can ever get morale. So make sure you're trying your best to protect him if he's in immediate danger. Because his morale is so low. Who's in line? It's actually right here. Oh, there is my horse. I almost walked right by it. I find this map a little bit more fun than the Rogue Fortress one. The Rogue Fortress map is a little confusing, and the Bandit one is a little open. Maybe a bit too open. But if you have a preference, I mean, honestly, you do you. Or at least you do what the game tells you to do, depending on who you're playing as. It's not like you can just pick and choose. Alright, when I first played this mission, I thought I couldn't take my horse beyond this. But really, it was because I was not in the right spot. Oh, the captain is actually fighting. Oh, we have some troops. I thought we would have absolutely none. Turns out there's just very few. Let me provide a little bit of support. A little bit of support goes a long way. There. Nicely done. That crisis should be averted for now. Is that how I get on the boat? Yes. Okay. I'm missing like crazy here. Um, is there like another weapon crate over here or is that on the other boat? Yeah, I think it's the other boat. Alright. Alright, screw it. We're abandoning the horse. Uh, Gandang's fourth charge? Not exactly that great for crowd control either. Because it's, it's more like a, a stab rather than a slash. So that kind of gives you a bit of a disadvantage for aiming. Oh no. We can't have any of this. I almost got all of them killed in one go. Camera did not work in my favor. Probably because I was next to a threshold. However, it was still effective. Alright, item crate is over here. Have you noticed that the water does not even move at all? 
It's almost like as if it's stagnant. Like carefully, like really. It's almost like ice. Like you can hear water noises, but like no actual flowing movement. Okay, weapon crate is actually right here. I'm trying to get as much as I can out of this, just in case I do pick up an item that I don't even have yet. I think I'm still missing one. Okay, here's the commander, but I'm going to ignore him first. It is against you! You will die! That sounded a little aggressive. I'm gonna take out your lieutenant commander instead. Oh, this is a problem. There's archers too. Oh man! I defeated an officer. Just so much going on. Obviously, I don't want to kill the commander yet because then I can't explore the rest of the map. And I need to go and grab that uh, dim sum. Not over here. Actually, I think it's further up. I, I need to clear out some of this crowd here. And grab the dim sum, and we are pretty much good to go. And uh, these guys are also good to go straight to hell. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Give me another Musu Gage ready. Well, let's, let's kill the gate captain first. Give myself a little extra defense. Why not? Huh. This gets me every time. Defense is still a bit of a sore spot, obviously, given that this is only our first mission. Okay, I think that's all the archers in this area. I hope. Nope, there, there's still an archer over here. I think. No, actually, I think there's more than two. And I lost a bodyguard. How could I still lose a bodyguard here? Oh, I feel bad for you. There. He's going to have less personal guard now. Who the hell are you? Ha! It is irritating that worthless vermin like you should call yourselves pirates. And there we go. That was a quick victory for us. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully we got ourselves a decent item out of it. I mean, it only took us 9 minutes and 31 seconds. I expected a short period of time. But anyway, let's reap our rewards. We only got iron swords. Just keep the one that I have. I don't expect much in the way of items, and of course I didn't get any. That's pretty good. But, uh, yeah. We didn't really get much in the way of points. We might only move up one rank. We might get to class 15, which is exactly what we did. Okay. So, we'll save, and I think I'm going to stop here. So, in the next episode, we'll continue on with Ganning's Musu Mode. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.